Hello dreamers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yong Isnara and today we'll be talking about disaster prevention and mitigation with a sneak peek of a structural mitigation which is being done right now here in La Trinidad, Benguet. So welcome back again sana after watching this video I hope you will learn something and when you do so please don't forget to leave a like para naman ma-inspire tayo at gumawa ulit tayo ng mga video that will help you on your daily activities especially in disaster risk reduction and management. Yes, it's uh, 2021 and again we need to start preparing for possible disasters in the second quarter to the end of the year of this 2021 but still we pray na wala sana masyadong uh, uh, natural hazards typhoons sana gaya ng 2020 walang masyadong maglandfall dito sa atin lalong lalo na dito sa Cordillera but then again as we pray for uh, miracles yan parang mga prayers ng mga wala pang karelasyon Wala lang, nadagdag ko lang. Sana din, uh, gumawa tayo ng paraan para hindi nga tayo ma-disaster and paano tayo gumagawa ng paraan para hindi ma-disaster. Again, we have to review uh, our hazards. We have to prevent and mitigate possible occurrence of disasters by eliminating our hazards. What is hazards again? Ayan. Anything that can cause a disaster. Well, I have a video for that. Sa mga hindi pa nakapanood, ito po ang link sa taas. And you can go review, rewatch, and again, also please, please <laughs> leave a like kung uh, nagustuhan nyo man ang video na yan. So, paano natin pipigilan or paano natin may iwasan na magka-disaster sa ating lugar o sa ating bahay? Well, of course, uh, we have, uh, again, if you, you see the title, it's called Prevention and Mitigation. Prevention will refer to everything that you can do. For example, wearing a face mask. That is an act to prevent a disaster. What disaster? COVID infection. With regards to mitigation, there are also two kinds and we call them non-structural mitigation and structural mitigation. So sabi ko nga, mamaya maya, bigyan ko kayo ng snake peek sa mga ginagawa nating structural mitigation habang wala pa ang bagyo. When we are talking about uh, non-structural mitigation, planting trees, cleaning your canals are some good example. Diba? Kapag nag-plant ka ng trees, walang masyadong landslide. In the future, pag lininisan mo ang kanal ngayon na hindi umuulan, gagana ang kanal mo pag malakas na ulan, pag malakas na ang ulan, at hindi na mapaplan sa inyong lugar. Do it! How about structural mitigation? Yeah. Construction of uh, dikes, construction of canal, construction of wall, construction of uh, dams, construction of uh, retaining wall against landslide are examples of structural mitigation. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan ninyo, let me bring you to one of our ongoing projects right now on disaster structural mitigation. Okay. But before that, let me uh, show you first why we need to construct yung matibay na wall. Okay? If you can see, uh, this video is at the uh, La Alno uh, Multiplier Farm. Yeah? Uh, it's a property by the municipality and you can see dito po uh, on the left side is the farm and as you can see on the right portion is a steep slope now if you will uh, look at that we have a house 
just right below the slope area. On the other angle, there you go. Para mas claro, yan. on the right side is an unprotected slope and on the left side is the structures or the farm which we need to protect so that no erosion shall occur and no damage will be experienced okay so that's the story kasi nga naman pag malakas ang ulan dyan now we will never know we do not want to wait for the erosion before the erosion happens we need to be proactive build a wall so that our farm multiplier is protected so this is an example of structural mitigation we build a and tawag we build a retaining wall on the right side of your screen so as of now what's happening is and so na excavate na po siya and as you can see the right side is uh, yeah, may mga post na, may mga beams na siya, and may mga bato na siya, and uh, sooner or later, this part of that mountain will be purely a retaining wall. Ayan. So again, now I may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. And uh, please leave a like kapag meron man. Ano? So, kung wala man, then please check out my other videos. And maybe it can help you understand better disaster risk reduction and management for your daily applications. Again, maraming salamat po. At sana may natutunan kayo. Balik kayo ulit sa bago kong upload. I uh, upload weekly. And uh, see you on my next video. Mabuhay ka! Yag nan awata, ni timpuni maya, ni timpuni digan, apala tumi tanan nanusan, nakasuni ta bilan, nun sayu tulatan.